Welcome back to the channel, guys. Today is July. Oh man, I forget already. 19th? I think 19th, yes. Anyway, today we are putting new conveyors in the uh, feed room. And uh, we're going to be taking the old ones out here, ripping other stuff out that's been in there for a long time that doesn't need to be. Uh, I guess at the same time, cleaning it out. So, I remember way back people said about cleaning that room, feed room out because it's a dusty mess. Well, we milk corn in there, so that's why. Uh, but we will be getting rid of a lot of junk that are that's in there. I got here a little late, but they got all the conveyors sitting in the bucket there. Now we're actually, actually pulling out the conveyor system here. Or I guess not the system. you can 
Due to a, it's keeping that conveyor operating as it's staying in. Right. The bottom, the bottom of the yeah. out. There's more in the shed. I'll go get it. Nah, I'll just have it with zero eyes. <laughs> I'll go get it. You're doing very good. There's a little spot right there you missed. Dad, but... you're like, I'll sacrifice. I'll go get them. Don't worry. No, it's fine. Uh, in the in the, the equipment shed. Yeah. You do your hand chopping, I'm guessing. Yeah, we got one five years ago. Years ago. Is that then you only started with your own or you got something? Yeah, that was the first time we got had a room. What did you get? A class. Nine seven. Nine, seven. Nine, seven. Yeah, yeah that'll put some time there. Yeah, it does. <laughs> pretty good. I have a neighbor customer was uh, chopping and stuff. While the conveyor guys are doing their thing, we're doing our thing, cleaning up junk. What not? Crunch. Let's go up beside this other one. let them do their thing I uh was starting to become an obstacle so I think they have enough guys I'm gonna go do some other things like mowing grass man I just feel like I walked out of a cave sun's bright all right I'm gonna mow some grass and then well I'll record here this afternoon with feeding and stuff so yeah I'm gonna mow grass and listen to Taylor Swift Yesterday we moved animals and uh, there's I scraped the manure out of the hutches. I just didn't get it cleaned up yet. I just wanted the hutches to at least air out. I was on a time crunch. But uh, feeding is coming up here. I'm on a time crunch again. I was mowing grass. So I want to make sure at least everything gets done once this week. And uh, I'm about to go down and see how many calves need to be brought out. Because uh, that might uh, force me to clean up the manure. I, I have some time. I hate being rushed though. But sometimes I bring it upon myself. Some lazy bulls. 53. So three calves that might need to be brought out. I'm gonna check their, check to see if they got their two bottles of colostrum. We give our calves, our heifer calves two bottles. Colostrum is very important. All right, so two of the three can be brought out. And I think that's perfect because I have two hutches that have straw and the rest I'll definitely have to clean up, clean up the manure tomorrow. Also got to scrape out the transition barn here. I was mowing around the calf barns and man, it, adding those new barns definitely added more grass. It's like almost almost an hour of just around the calf barns and you can see the manure is scraped out the hutches are empty and all right only one was straw well actually i could put straw in that one if i just divvy it out it won't be as much straw but i'm just gonna bring straw tomorrow so it won't matter I'm not gonna leave that straw. I'm not gonna divvy it out and have a little bit of straw on each for the long haul. I'm gonna, I'll bring more out. So, no work. I just ran out of straw. That one's clean. And as you can tell, these need to be finished off. But, all right. Somewhat have two hutches. So 
really humid out today. Storm this morning. Uh, didn't get much rain. But definitely need more rain. The corn's looking pretty good considering how dry we were earlier in the year. Um, as in, it's crazy to think that the corn was planted a couple months ago. Uh, but yeah. I have to focus on pulling in here. I'm not trying to hit the truck. My cousin Mitch just got done bedding these up, which makes it nice because they all want to be in their pen. Except for that one out of the whole barn. That one's out there eating. She's a, a rebel. Sorry to crash your feasting party there, girl. Give me five minutes. Enjoying the fresh alleyway along with their fresh bedding. A lot of freshness going on. You stay and you two go. Bro, why you look so down? Are you sleepy? Mm? You hungry? First day or so, they might be a little lazy. Here's a mama. She's probably gonna give birth sometimes here soon. Unless she already did. I don't think so though. You wanna say hi? Alright, time for you two to go. Hold number one. Lift with your back. Wanna have back issues? She must have been in a deep sleep or something. She woke up. Isn't that right, girl? It's been a while since I said this, but keep your head and hooves inside the calf carrier at all times. No calfing around. ladies in a little bit at feeding time like in 10 minutes all right Mitch is feeding the weaning barn uh, if you guys don't know what that is it's pretty much the calves that are weaned off of uh, milk 
dye it to a grain and water mix. Well, there's a oh, grain. There's grain and water that they can have, and then uh, grass hay as well. So I'm gonna head down to the parlor, start loading up milk. Time to wash out and then we're gonna be all done, all done. 